You were talking about fishing just a little bit ago. Yes, yes. People won't be doing fishing tomorrow, I'm sure. Probably not, because the odds of rain and storms are going up. But the good news is, Renee, if people want to fish or go to the beach Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, rain chances are going to be heading way down. And that's the time to do it. Absolutely. Yes. If we're going to have a higher rain chance, let's get it out of the way early and deal with it over the weekend. Right now, showers and storms are still showing up on the radar, but most of those have been really far inland, along and south of US 84. We got one thunderstorm right around Bruton that's tracking off towards the east, so Kirkland and the eastern fringe of Escambia County, Alabama. If that thing holds together, you have the potential for a thunderstorm, and we've been keeping our eye on this very strong storm that's been moving through the northern tier of Greene County and pushing in towards parts of Washington County. So if you live around uh, Uniform or Hawthorne or Yellow Pine, assuming the storm holds together within the next 30 minutes to 60 minutes, you have a chance to deal with that thunderstorm, but it will be weakening as the evening rolls along but tomorrow a fresh batch is going to be on the way and a lot more of you could end up dealing with the rain and it all has to do with these showers we're seeing south of Louisiana and off the east coast of Texas. The energy from that moves right towards us so the rain and storm chances increase to 60 to 70 percent for tomorrow but then the good news is it kicks out of here before we hit Friday and the weekend. A peak in the tropics things are still quiet out there in the Atlantic the Caribbean and the Gulf but you can see the energy really flaring up south of Houston and that's going to be part of the main weather maker for our area as we head in towards tomorrow. Temperatures currently are mainly in the mid to upper 80s, although we got some rain cooled air in Clark County. Jackson, you're reporting 78. Mobile at 86. Downtown at 85. Same for Theodore. Dauphin Island, you're in the mid 80s. Mid 80s up and down the eastern shore. Loxley to Gulf Shores, about the same scenario for you. And Pensacola, your temperature right now at 87. As far as the forecast for tomorrow in Mobile and Baldwin County, it will be in the mid to upper 80s and right around 90. The rain and storm chance at 60%. Farther inland, your rain and storm chance at 70%. Most spots will top out at 90 plus. And then as we head towards the Florida Panhandle, upper 80s in many locations, including Pensacola, Milton, Century, as well as Fort Walton Beach. And if you're on the Mississippi side, you're the closest to that energy pocket I showed you over Texas. So that means the odds of rain better for you and your afternoon highs will be a little bit cooler. Many of you should not exceed the mid 80s. So it's going to be a much cooler day tomorrow because of the increased rain threat and the Fox 10 future cast does back that up as we ease on forward throughout the night tonight. You'll notice the showers fade away and by nine o'clock many of you should be dry. But then watch what happens as we ease in later into the night and into tomorrow morning. Big time storms begin to flare up right around sunrise and we see those continue to track towards the east. And by 7 a.m., many locations up and down I-10 can be dealing with heavy rain, lightning, and thunder. But the good news is, as the day wears on, we'll start to see the rain and storm chances taper off. And things are certainly going to be looking a lot better by Friday and the weekend. So tonight, we're expecting lows between 69 and 73. A few showers with a south wind at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, your projected high, 89. The rain chance, 60%. So thunderstorms are likely. And we will have a southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The good news is as we head in towards Friday and the weekend, high pressure builds in. That's going to help squander the rain chance. So if you have outdoor plans, things will be fine. But temperatures do get warmer because of that. And as far as tomorrow's rain chance is concerned, the bulk of the rain and storm activity, even based on what I showed you on the future cast, is going to occur in the morning. That's going to be the best chance to see the storms, but they will remain possible throughout the course of the day on Thursday. And then we'll see the rain chances increase again by next week. Guys.